people having problems with their z-axis turning uh, this will help you out so uh, this nut washer acrylic washer and nut beneath uh, that's fine for these three but this one right here where the motor is you need to not have the nut on the bottom and the way you get everything to hold together is with super glue so with with this uh, uh, I have the nut the washer they're kind of glued with just a dab and the acrylics glued and then the washer is glued and then the, the nuts uh, glued with just a dab that way it kind of it's all tight together now with the motor uh, uh, in order to uh, keep the motor on, uh, what you need to do is you need to have the nut, the washer, the acrylic piece, the washer, then right beneath it you just have the bearing. You don't have the uh, nut. And uh, that will keep the motor from falling off. Excuse me, not the motor, the uh, pulley from falling off. The, uh, uh, where am I talking about? The, uh, the, uh, the belt. The belt won't, won't fall off now, won't slide off. The other thing too, if people are having trouble with their their Z turning, uh, you can cut the friction that it runs into and, and decrease the torque needed by half by just getting rid of this upper bolt. So you just have one bolt here, excuse me, one nut, one nut here, and uh, the nut that was right here, you move up to here and uh, you use a lock washer, or in this case I used a zip tie and just spun that right there so that uh, this doesn't move. Because you have a couple things that happen. You have this moves down, and that causes this uh, lead screw to fall out. And then you also have uh, uh, this right there that that's normally right here, and it causes this to move around. And uh, <clears throat> uh, one, it's either too hard to move, or or two, this this part will move out, out of where the uh, the nuts are. So uh, there's one nut here. And uh, this is a solid piece of plastic where it sits down on the nut, but underneath uh, uh, the, uh, the table can move upward. And to fix that, um, I have a washer on, uh, and, and, a, and a bolt and um, some smaller washers and a little piece of tubing to apply pressure to the nut right here. So this, this is a large washer uh, with a little tiny washer and then a uh, piece of tubing, a little tiny washer to hold the tubing, and then uh, the uh, the hex bolt. And what that does is that makes it so that uh, the uh, the little nut is held on top by the large piece of plastic, and it's held on the bottom in place by the washer. And this works really good, prevents my uh, table from sliding out. And uh, having one uh, nut instead of two uh, reduces the friction by half, makes it a lot easier for the motor to uh, spin. You can see right here that my motor stays on and uh, everything's going pretty good. Let's see, I have it go slide down a ways actually. I also have another tip for leveling of the stage and uh, another tip for a way to keep the stage level as the uh, uh, z-axis goes down but uh, those are later on so for those having trouble getting your z-axis remove the bolt from the bottom of uh, this pulley uh, uh, and that will lower this down because normally it would sit above the motor and it would pull out uh, and then uh, super glue everything so that you don't have any slippage and then uh, one nut instead of one right here so this one put up at the top and uh, you should be able to get your table to work.